Historically, coffee is known to be Uganda's leading crop export. Last year, the crop earned the country over half a billion dollars, or in the excess of 1.8 trillion shillings. Experts, however, believe that the crop has more earning potential for the country, and specifically farmers, if only we added more value to it, or consumed more of it. The figures indicate that we consume about 4% of our uh, coffee production. Now, that doesn't compare very well with other coffee producers. Ethiopia consumes about slightly about 50% of their production. That's why you see in Africa that the production of coffee, Ethiopia is the highest. But in terms of export, Uganda exports slightly more than Ethiopia because Ethiopia consumes a lot of their coffee. If we were in that category or if we were able to bring our consumption even just to 20%, you will see a stability and farm gate prices will slightly be up because I have been to Ethiopia personally and I know that the Ethiopians pay slightly a very good premium price for, for their coffee. Today, because of this reality and appreciation of the need to increase coffee benefits to the country, the rebellion effort is being invested in supporting agribusiness enterprises in the areas of value addition and quality improvement. The UCDA approach, for instance, has been, among others, to support organized groups. The result of an effort from the private sector uh, in conjunction with the UCDA to have those groups as much as possible uh, put together uh, to produce high-quality coffee uh, through taking them in training for post-harvest handling, uh, but also, most importantly, to appreciate uh, the, the product, because most people never knew that coffee was food. They were handling it now. So, once we encourage them to consume, then they will take an effort uh, to ensure that they handle it as food as it should be. Out of these efforts and the support of critical partners in the coffee value chain, today Uganda is able to process premium coffee that is ready for consumption right here at home. Uh, we're here at uh, uh, Volcaf Uganda Limited uh, in Namanvi, which is uh, just uh, east of uh, Kampala. So what we're doing here is we're adding value. We're roasting and packing very high quality coffees. And we, when you think, you know, we're, we're targeting not only the local market, but Kenya, South Africa, Rwanda, Sudan, local countries, which are on our doorstep. Indeed, today more Ugandan companies are increasingly placing their coffee brands at the international supermarket shelves as single-sourced brands, which guarantees premium prices besides affirming the country's brand name as a source of good specialty coffees. We have now started roasting on the micro roads. We are deal, at the moment we are dealing with uh, some of our buyers in Europe to do the final product mm. and. One of the products we are doing is this one. When you are in Europe and you find coffee packed like in this kind of colors, mm. you know this is specialty coffee. The role of building synergies and financing and technical support has been central to the attainment of this milestone. Uh, our key partner in this journey is the ABI Trust. Uh, why are they our key partners? Because they helped us uh, to secure machinery for our grade, uh, for the grading machinery and for us as an organization we put up the structures and ABI provided the machinery. Now we are able to grade our coffee for export. Ultimately, more Ugandans are taking coffee today as evidenced in the growth of the number of coffee serving cafes from around 3 to over 100 today. What remains, however, besides building a critical mass of coffee takers, is having more Ugandans appreciate opportunities available in this sector and indeed become active participants across its entire value chain.